Hi there, my name is Christy Tiberi. I'm a team leader with Osborne Books and More. And I'm here to show you some of our amazing story time books. These are books that are gonna wanna make you snuggle up and read. So first we have Pandemonia, and this is a really cute, silly story all about not waking up the panda at the zoo. If you wake up the panda, it's going to cause all of this ruckus and this huge riot throughout the animals at the zoo. So whatever you do, do not wake the panda. It's really a great story. It's a rhyming story, which makes it even more fun to read, and the illustrations are beautiful. Next up, we have American Lee and Animally, and these are both lovey stories that talk about your love for someone and compares it in this one to animals and in American Lee to different things throughout America. So we have I love you powerfully like an ox, I love you busily like a bee, I love you doggedly like a flea, and it is rhyming throughout the story and has these great illustrations. And then with American Lee, like I said, it goes with different pieces of America. So it says, I love you extensively like the continental divide. I love you predictably like the North Atlantic tide. So again, rhymes throughout, really cute story. Next, we have one of everyone's favorites, and that is Nibbles the Book Monster. We also have Nibbles the Dinosaur Guide. And it's all about this monster, Nibbles, who eats through our favorite classic stories and mixes them right up. So we have the three bears, we have Little Bird Riding Hood, and we have Jack and the Beanstalk in this one. You can see he actually eats right through the pages, which makes it so much fun. And in the end, you have to capture him in his cage, but will he stay there or will he eat his way out? And the Dinosaur Guide is the same type of idea, except he's eating right through this nice factual book all about dinosaurs and hoping that he doesn't get eaten by one while he's doing it. And you can also get the Nibbles plush to go along with it, which makes it so much fun. Next up, we have some great lovey books. We have Love You Who and Cuddle Bear. Love You Who is all about this owl, talking about his love for his little one. Let's see, he says, Cuddle up now, little one, let's snuggle wing to wing. Are you feeling safe and warm? Okay then, let's begin. It's a really sweet story about believing in their little one no matter what and how and anything is possible as long as we're together. Such a sweet story that really sends a positive message to your little ones. And Cuddle Bear is all about that hug you can get from Cuddle Bear and how powerful a hug can be, how it can change a grumpy lion into a cuddly bear and um, how it really doesn't matter if you're big or if you're small or, um, Sorry, if you're big or short or tall, a hug from Cuddle Bear will stretch to fit all. So really sweet, and you can also get the Cuddle Bear plush to go along with it. We have the Masked Fairy Tales. These are really fun to read. They're silly takes on the stories, and they have these masks that you can wear to go along with it. We have the wolf and we have Little Red Riding Hood. And you can see the text in the story is really fun and eye-catching. And then these beautiful illustrations. This one's a silly take. It has a little red singing throughout the story. And it ends with Grandma and the cheerful lumberjack politely stuffed bread in their ears, which is just such a silly take on the story. And again, the same with Goldilocks. You can be Goldilocks or you can be one of the bears. The River is a beautiful story all about a fish um, migrating. You can see that nice holographic picture there of the fish swimming. And it's such a beautiful story. Look at those illustrations. And throughout every page, you can see that fish making his way to the warmer weather with all of the other fish. So you get to the end and there he is in the ocean swimming around. Such a sweet story and definitely beautiful pictures to look at along the way. The Curious Case of the Missing Mammoth is all about this museum that comes to life for an hour and during that hour this mammoth goes missing and his brother is trying to find him throughout the museum and as you go through the museum you can lift the flaps and learn all sorts of facts. So it's great for a story time book but also great for learning from so you can have fun with it in two different ways. And of course you have an adorable mammoth plush to go along with it. And Dan the Taxi Man. My kids love this one. It's all about Dan the Taxi Man who's picking up all of these members of the band to go to a show. And each member of the band has their own instrument that they're bringing and it builds upon itself. So you pick up one person, it talks about their instrument and the sound it makes. And when you pick up the next person, it goes back and talks about all of the instruments you have in the car so far. So if your kids love music and rhythm, this is the perfect book for them. My kids really enjoy this one. And finally, I have a really sweet story called Take Ted Instead. It's all about this little boy who does not want to go to bed. So it's perfect for those reluctant bedtime kids in your family. So mom is trying to get him to bed and he's sending everyone else instead. He's saying, take my brother, take my dog, take my teddy bear. And then he realizes, wait a second, everyone's up in bed. Now I want to be there too. And he says, take me too. So such a sweet bedtime story to end our stories here. I hope you enjoyed those. If you have any questions, of course, don't hesitate to ask.